Hi, this is Laura Chapel, and in this short video I'm going to go through how to create multi-field columns in Wireshark. The first thing I'm going to do is open up this file called sec-getsplendid.pcapng. And for my example, I'm going to add a column up here to the packet list pane that will include not only the TCP stream number, but also a UDP stream number. So let's begin. In frame number one here, this is a standard DNS query. So we know that this is running over UDP here, and if we look down in the packet details window, we can see in the UDP section there is our stream index field. Now Wireshark tracks UDP streams separately from TCP streams. If I simply right mouse click on this field and choose apply as column, you'll notice there's my stream index column showing up in the value. I'm going to right mouse click on that column heading and choose align center. But as I expand this a bit, you'll see that there are a number of rows that are missing a stream index value, and that's because I only have the UDP.stream field value in that column. I want that column to show me TCP stream values wherever they appear as well. So to do this, we're going to edit this current column, and we're going to change what the column is based on. I'm going to right mouse click on the column heading and choose Edit Column. On the far left hand side we can see the title and I'm just going to leave this as Stream Index. The type is a custom column and then you'll notice that we have a section that says Fields and it's plural which means that you can add to this. We use our Display Filter Syntax to add to this. I'll put a space, pipe, pipe, and then tcp.stream. So all I did was I just added space, pipe, pipe, oh, and another space, and then I typed in tcp.stream. On the far right, I'm going to click OK, and that just changed this column. So now it not only shows me UDP stream values, but also the TCP stream values.